I was really hoping we're recording. We're at three seconds. Three seconds. Five, six, go. Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Jenny. I'm Nancy. And we're the Bougie Stitchers. We're back. It's been a, well, we're a week, we're a few days past our two week point, but last weekend was Easter, so we spent time with our families. Or at least I drove my kid back to college. I don't know. <laughs> I spent time in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good week. Um, but we had we did a good spend some time. We spent some time together with our kids, so that was nice. And after that, um, I guess we should talk about cross stitching. Yeah. So if you found us, thank you for, for stopping. stopping by. If you are an oldie but a goodie, we love that you're here and we love your comments and we appreciate that. We um, always start our floss tube with a moment of gratitude. And Nancy's going to start this time. Okay, because I have one and Jenny doesn't. I don't. I mean, I have lots to talk about, but I don't know that I have anything. But go ahead. We'll start with it's you. It's Autism Awareness Month. Oh, you got your pin on. I do. I have my pin and my Be Kind shirt, which you guys can't see. I'll stand up here. Move the dog around. Uh, be kind. It is a... Uh, um, can, you, can I see it? Yep. All right. And I have the opportunity to work with about five kids that have autism, and I just enjoy them and what they bring to the community. So never, never overlook somebody because they're different than you are. That's a very good way of putting that. I love it. I think I want to be thankful for um, the people who comment and make us write because we don't always have the answers. For instance, um, that purple glass that I showed a couple videos back that Michaela, my sister-in-law sent me because her grandma had passed away and it was in her grandma's cupboard and her grandma's sister was named Nancy and they got to always, well, grandma didn't stitch, but, um, her sister did. And so, but it was apparently a TV show and I didn't know that. So then I had to go down this rabbit trail of looking it up. We had, um, Evertote, we had their names wrong. Like, I don't know. Like, I know that sounds bad. I've been watching them on Floss Tube for a hot minute. But, um, and I knew Roxy was the bird that the dyer used, but, um, hi, hi. we're back. Well, what were you talking about? Oh, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the help. This is not a community. I'm thankful for the help because, for instance, somebody so, was on somebody's Floss Tube. Oh, I know. Shelly, Antique Needleworkers. I was watching her and I was reading about how to sit stitch on 36 count and somebody kept talking about the pin stitch and I don't know if my iPad was listening but um up pops this video from six years ago uh somebody showing how to do the pin stitch and then like three days later Shelly shows us how to do the pin stitch. She does, you know, she had, it, she, she didn't think it was a very good one, but I thought it was amazing to see how she did the pin stitch. And now I'm on 36, like I'm an expert, like pin stitch and everything. I love it. It's easy to start, great for confetti. I don't know. So I'm just thankful that we are connected in this community and that, um, you know, you're not afraid to say, hey, you might need to think about this or have you thought about this? And we have that dialogue. So we do appreciate that. So that's what I'm thankful for. <coughs> Are you better? Yeah. Your sickness isn't is gone? I just have this cop that wants to come up every once oh. in a while. And then my nose always runs it's allergy season here, so Well, I'm on antibiotics. And it's I'm anti like, or anti? Antibiotics. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know where she gets eat from. I don't know. I just threw it in there. So I'm kind of dragging a little bit today. But it's all good. We get to spend the time together and I'm going back for a redo on my sleep test tonight. That's right. Who fails a sleep test? My husband's this like, girl. Jenny, how do you fail a sleep test? I don't know, but I did. So, and you have to, you have to get a little, little brainy act. Some, I don't know. And you know what my I mean? Like, when you can like, get them, you get them. My husband's like, hey, you're special, baby. That's probably the first test you ever failed on. Huh? I'm like, yep, it sure is. And here I am failing again. So, I don't know. I'm going back tonight, eight thirty. Try it again. So, but we thought we'd take this opportunity to film um, and get this on the books. So. Because yeah. it's 70 degrees today and 70 it's supposed degrees. to snow on Sunday. I know. Sunday, the, the whole spring season is supposed to bottom out. But I mean, and, and I, I would like for you to look at the top of the screen. That is our makeshift curtain. curtain. Because the sun at the angle of which it's <laughs> Those beating. are project bags. Three yes. of them. You would not have been able to see us because of the, the window. Yeah. 
we just make it do. You yeah. know, we're, we're what we are. It works. If cool. you're here with us, you know that we're we're a hot mess express and we love every minute of it. And we're not changing it. We do appreciate constructive feedback, but we're not changing who we are. All right. Do you have any FFOs? I don't either. I have two that I want to show um, towards the end because they're buried in this. Well, I have one, but I can't show it. Oh, I don't. I have one that's ready to get an FFO, but it'll be. It's my giveaway. It's my, it's my giveaway. It's my swap exchange Mine too. for the library. And I don't want, I don't want to share. We're headed to Maine. We're going to Maine in two weeks. Less than two weeks, right? Yep, we'll leave on the 18th. 18th. We'll leave on the 18th. All right, so do you have, so no FFOs for me either, which is a fully finished object. But I have an FO. Well, okay. I actually have six, but you've seen all of them, except for so, the last one. So I'll get the board. No, 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 no. This is one of my bags by Jasmine Custom Bags. If you are, um, so Rebel Stitcher used to, used to, I haven't seen her do one recently, um, used to, uh, it was my last one. Go ahead and do your promotion there, Jenny. She used to do a quarterly, maybe, no, there were two boxes. There was a Halloween box and a Christmas box. And um, Jasmine, ba she had Jasmine bags made for them. I love it. Nancy wasn't real keen on the fiber inside, but... Mm. It's I, cute, but I just don't like the... I love the... T I don't know. Like, I just sit here and pet things. It's fine. But this is the last one. I have six done. This is hands-on design. Hands-on design. <laughs> this is our penguin pair. And it is done. And we're going to go through that. Jenny doesn't have them lined up like she did last time. I did not, because I just haven't put in the bag. This is the walrus. And this is Jenny's, because I'm still on my very first one. This is the whale. These are the Norwal and this is the PDF. So just so you know, we will be giving these patterns away in a, as a group. Um, Polar bear minus the PDF because. Um, and these are the puffins. The PDF. I hope you can see those. I think so. All right. So here is the stack. We will put it in the giveaway box. We'll probably bring it out in the summer before we get ready to do anything crazy. And um, we'll get them. You can leave those here and I'll just claim them as my own. That's no. an option. No, because I went to Hoblob the last time we were together and I got the paper to finish them. And I thought I was being all slick because I found this blue paper with snowflakes because this is how much I pay attention. I did not take this pattern. I didn't take these in with me either. I just went in and it, I was in a hurry. And I ran in there and um, I picked up this blue, dark blue snowflake fat paper. I was like, this is going to look good. I think sublim subliminous, what is the word? That's a big word. I don't know. <laughs> I think in my mind, I already knew what it, what it looked like because the paper I picked out thinking I was going to be an original is this paper. <laughs> so I got the paper and we have the Chantel 141 boards. Nancy bought those for us to do. And, um, I'm going to have an FFO day here in the next few weeks and get an FFO and out and those snowballs out of my closet. So I'm super excited about that. I bought snowballs. I'm going to make mine into a garland. So that's my only FFO. The rest are all whips and I got a gazillion. I don't have a gazillion, but I have four. Yeah, okay. Four. Well, I have eight, I think. So you go with two. I'll go with one. Okay. Okay, don't. So this is in my project bag. This is a sow that we are doing with Sandy and Nancy, the disorderly stitcher. Oh, I got, I guess I did get a day of stitching of that. That's upstairs. And you brought all your stitches down here. I don't know where it is. All right, so this but is. I only got a day. The Equality Sampler by Plum Street. Last year was my start all the things Plum Street. I got to pick, I think you picked, Sandy picked the designer and I picked the pattern i don't remember that was a long time ago it was and here she is are you ready i'm so excited oh you got a lot done i had to cut my fabric this beast was i mean <laughs> you want me to surge it for you before you leave uh, no because i already put a zigzag in it well surgery's gonna last better so there she is i got all the way well, down you got down here yeah i got all the way down because you had the eagle done last time yeah i had started across down over here. I didn't, I, I was, the, our, this is what I did last time. I Jenny started, wants to be in control of the board. Well, because I'm trying to make not everybody seasick. I got all the way down here. And I'm using DMC. 
So I will say when you use the DMC, this, I mean, you can see it, but it's not as cool as if, if I decided to use the fancy floss. But there's so much movement in this pattern that I didn't think you would notice. And I really don't think I did. But this is being stitched on a Cedar, Cedar River Linen and Design, um, 32 count. So when I got brave and started 32 count, and now I look at my 32 count and I'm like, oh, but I, I want 36. So, but I'm just using a called for DMC. Moving on up, moving I on. am, right? Now I have... Look at you go, Jenny. I she know. even twisted. I'm twisting. We'll get her there. Oh, eventually. I'll catch on. So... That was my first, that was one of my last month's 24 by 24 Pam from Steph and Pam Just Keep Stitching. She did 24 in 24, and that was one of the ones I was going to stitch on. I'm trying to, I'm not going to get them all done, but the other one is I worked a little bit more on my February 24 by 24. This is my Quaker, my um, holiday Quaker. Good job, Jenny. I picked a 32 count the stitch me. I don't remember what which one it is though. It's in here somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyways, I decided I was gonna jump into Smack cottage dab in the middle. Cottage garden threads. Good job. And the called for, and I'm deciding as I go along can what I see it. Oh yes, they can, thank you. It is Neptune. Pretty 32 count Lagana by the Stitch Me. I actually upped my club next month. Look at me growing up. 36 count neutrals, but. And so these are all the colors uh, that I've got picked. And they are a mix of the Called For and Cottage Garden. And I'm excited. And I'm just, I look at the motif and I decide what I'm gonna do and then I jump in. Show you it again. Some My Santa there. Claus is done in Cottage Garden, and I it's love really him. Really cute, Jenny. So, and I think I did the sleigh and the deer. The deer, I thought I wanted the deer to be brown so bad, but they charted him in black, and I went with black. All right, what you got? Um, let me. Oh, so this weekend, nope, not that one. This weekend, one of our fellow cross floss tubers. Ran, did 300 miles. Yamir for yep. Almond m, &M. Almond m, m And why we did it, we supported her by either using her floss, which I did. And so this is what I stitched on during that time. This is the gobble couple. This is Calabas. Calabas. I didn't bring my glasses. My glasses. I Anyways, like so. this is the color. And she she does silks. Yes. And they're reasonably priced silk, so that's kind of what I like about it. She's a great dyer. Yes. And kudos to her. She completed what she set out to do. She did. It was really cool to see the pictures. Um, I still have a floss up front, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But it's just going to be what it is. And this is what I stitched on. And although there's a mistake here and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, I am over on this side over here. There's two and there should only be one. So I'm more than likely gonna leave it. I think you can leave it that. But yeah. So that's what I did this week. That's got a nice variegation on it. It does. And we all know that orange is my favorite color. You think it's orange? I thought it was yellow. No, it's orange. Oh, it has orange in it. It's an orange yellow. It's candy corn. That's what I'm going to go okay. with. So that's what my first stitch. Jenny? Oh, sorry. I was like waiting for you to do two. I wasn't paying attention. No, I only have four, Jenny. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. I was working on my quilting bee. I am now on my second. Are you on your second row? I am. That's the first part. This is the second part. Yep. Part two. So I finished. Can you see it? Yeah. But. Well, I just need to see what you worked on. Yeah. Well, you got to show them what I worked you on. You said it was a second row. I finished the first one. I'm on to my second You never row. said that. Did she not say? You should slow down. No. If you just not tell me what you, well, what you want me to do and what I you. Did, 
Okay. Mm. <laughs> I can get in there still, Jenny. <laughs> so there she is. Don't count me out. <laughs> I'm not. I would never do that. Uh, so here we are. But she finished the second row right here. I finished the first row, started the second row. And then I need to get, I had to do two. I'm trying to do a block a week. So these were the two blocks I did. I did this one and this one. And then I'll start here. Good job. I'm doing all the called for. Is that going to go in your room? It is. I've got the perfect spot for it. And I'm going to frame it. Nice. So I've already got, I already got plans Thanks, for it. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks for uh, sticking me with this one. No. I wanted to do it. I thought we were all doing it. I just think it's funny that only two of us ended up doing it. All right. And then, oh, I have to share this one. I have, This is my April start. So on one April, I started this. This is my Christmas present from my guys. I got the pattern. I had the fabric. It's a bestitch me. I'm doing all the called for. This floss is amazing, amazing. No twisting. Because what kind of floss? It's is it? Stitch Me Silk. Okay. But it is, it is stitching like butter. 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 Butter that's been sitting on the counter all day. So oh it's like, yeah. Not from the refrigerator or, butter. No, not not hard butter. It's like smooth, and it's going on a hot cross bun. Mm. Mm. Does it do they need a board? No, I don't think so. Because it's folded. There she is. Now, I'll be honest. I have a mistake. I am one row. Oh, Oops. I just lost my needle minder. That makes me sad. I don't know where the back is, though. That's right there. You see it? Nope. Yep. That's yep. Right. Here I am trying to be all fancy. Because I still have... Because her needle's in the back. <laughs> my needle was in the back. Because this morning, when I had to take the dog to the vet, I did... Um... I did not. So I have a mistake. It's right here. I'm short a row on this one, but that's okay because it's not going to, it's not going to impact anything because I, I mean, I'm done stitching in that area. I did circle it in case it just drives me crazy. I'll go back and fix it, but I don't know that it will. Anyways, there's a lot of boob in it. I don't think so, Jenny. Hope oh, is this short from yours? No, it's off of your bag. Oh. So, this is a bag made by my friend Leslie. Leslie changed how she stored all of her whips and then was getting, she's like, you can have as many bags as you want. I didn't take them all, though. I wanted to because I love her bags. But She didn't like type her sister a couple. I'm just saying. Well, there's a couple in my house if you want them. I don't, I don't use them all. All right, there's two. No, I had to fix this. Do, okay, well, I'll go one more. Okay, since, we're inter since I'm entertaining. Then, this one... My friend Leslie, who works with my husband, sent her JBW two French birds. Two French and three. Oh, we've kind. watched Annie the Proper Stitcher. St I think we've watched everybody stitch it because it is. I don't like pink. Though pink is growing on me. I don't like it. Like, I don't want to be focused on pink. So I sat down and I made my own color chart. Yeah, can they see it, Jenny? Well, they couldn't to begin with. And if you want it, I'll share it. But here she is. Just put it in the bag and we'll fix it. I'm fixing it. We'll fix it after we're done. Okay. Ooh, it is pretty. Pretty fancy dancy. I have bluebirds with blueberries. I came in and I went shopping in Nancy's Wall of Thread the last time I was here. And I think I'm using all of her colors. And I love them. And anyone out there is welcome to my wall of threads. Because Lord knows I'm never going to get to it. I'm so small. I had to bring some back though. But, And I've, I'm putting this in my keeper that my sister, that I, my friend Julie made me for Christmas. Well, I think she might have made it for Nancy and I ended up with it. Is that with the... I'm not sure how that worked out. <laughs> Julie, if you want to tell us, you can. Or you can just let me sit here and enjoy this folder because I, I love it. So, all right. There, go. Okay. So, this is my bus stitch. So, Nancy drives the school bus, for those of you that are new. And so, when she's on field trips, like, the bus has to stay there for the kids. And so, she has to be with her bus. So, there we are. 
So, um, Teresa with the Garden Goose Stitcher and I started this a long time ago. Now hers is up and ready. And now Colleen and Rebel Stitcher and I are going to finish the patterns together. <laughs> She's probably done as well. I'm still on my very first one. And in true Nancy fashion, her ghosts are backwards. They are upside down, yes. But, and the threads in the... It's okay, just leave it. Just put it at the bottom. I'll just pull it through and deal with whatever I have. No, hang on. Then then you can just okay. do the rest. Talk about your so, preschooler. Uh, so I've got the bottom, the porch is done, and this is starting of the house. Not a lot, and I finished this side. And my ghost is backwards. That's okay. It's going to look the same here, but it's supposed to be... Anyways. It's fine. It's not you, a big deal. You and your frame will be the only ones that know that. So it's bug season here, and all these little bugs. I don't have them at my house. I have mosquitoes though, because, well, I'm not yet, but I will, because we live next to a creek. All right, I'm going to do some more, I guess, huh? I only have a couple more. I only have two more. Uh, okay, well, I have two more, too. Okay. Yes. So, if you are... Um, the other style that started yesterday with Sandy, Stitching with Sandy, is the... What's the style name? I just thought of it. Oh, it's the Rainbow Girl, or the yeah. Umbrella Girl. That's the umbrella cute. Girl. Yeah. I don't know if that's what it's called. No, it's not. It's uh, Current Mood. No, that's the name of the pattern. Oh. It's so the pattern is out of just cross stitch. It's the one that Sandy stitched for them. It's done on who's the designer? Uh I don't remember. It's written down somewhere. Hang on. It's it this is what it looks like. I don't think they can see it, Jamie. No, they can. It's it's a, like the minute I saw it, I knew I wanted to do it for my niece who's graduating high school this year. Um, but those aren't her colors. So I went and picked up fabric for her quilt. And when I did that, I picked up Cosmo Floss because our, um, our local quilt shop does the Crabtree patterns and Crabtree patterns use Cosmo Floss. And so I picked up, I haven't even bought these on floss rings. That's how new this project is. I, I stitched on, I did it this oh, weekend. I don't know what this color is. That's the one I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the umbrella out of in a minute. I'll show you what I mean. Ooh, it's very pretty. I'm stuck here. Uh-oh. What did she tell me to do? No, but I got to, there we go. I got to show the pattern. Otherwise, I would not have tried to fix it there. All right, so <gasps> I... Picked this bright yellow because as I was talking to Michaela, my sister-in-law, I was like, so I need to kind of know like if you're going to do a dorm room or what, you know, how you would use this quilt. And she's like, all I know is she says her favorite color is rainbows. So here it is. There's my girl. I got to finish. I finished like up to here and then the weather got bad coming home last weekend. So I stopped stitching so I could like talk to my husband and, you know, keep his mind. But there she is. I gotta do her umbrella, but I'm gonna do her umbrella in this one, I think. That's a pretty color. Cause it's, you know, it's, it'll have to be over one, it'll have to be um, two threads that I'd have to do one stitch at a time because of the variegation. But I don't know for sure. I haven't quite committed to that. But she's my, since I finished Polar Plunge, she has now become my work stitch. So. Jenny, I'm gonna point out to you, you only have like a month. Yeah, but we're not very busy on Saturdays. Okay. I mean, that was just a couple hours, a few hours in the car, because I have another stitch I worked on, too. So I went to, I went from my house to probably about halfway to Colorado Springs, and then I stitched on this one. And then um, coming home, I stitched on this one. So, and then when we got to Casper, the weather changed, and I didn't stitch. So, and I haven't picked her up since then, but I'll get her worked on. I'll get her done. Somewhere between now and one May, she'll be done. Okay. And if you want to do a stitch along, Sandy's hosting another one. Go watch her latest video that came up yesterday to tell you all about it. My next one is one of my April ones. 
Another. Oh, I have this one done. Oh, yeah, right? you have this one done. This is your first one, Jenny. Oh, that's right. This is Franklin and Elvira. These are these guys were fun to stitch. And oh, I'm stitching the other Halloween one right now. Um, the Harry and Sabrina. Is that it? I'm guessing. Oh, I so, so I just started this last night and I'm like, what's wrong? I, this was what I was gonna do it on. Why'd you pick this one instead? Uh, just cause. No reason. No reason. Nancy's been doing some frogging. A lot of frogging. I had this whole thing about done. Except for, I step started, instead of starting, I counted this one, but I started here. But I started he, this here. And Nancy style, it's just going to be enough if I don't stitch it correctly. Instead of wherever I want to. What do you mean? Well, there's only going to be like an, two inches. Oh. oh instead okay. of, because I, I had this whole thing, if you, all the way over here, you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your stitches are nice, though. They are. <laughs> your stitches look very good yeah. for what you left in. Oh, here. Here's your so I was all excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this done. Yeah, no. So I spent the evening frogging. I had to frog on my don't plant me because I, because there's like two stitches, two stitches, two stitches, six stitches. And anyways, I went to use up a piece of thread and I started in the wrong spot. So I had to do a lot of, I already do some frogging on that one. I only started it on one April, Monday. This Jenny. one. Hmm. She didn't even get the per pattern out. Well, because I did not. Go ahead. This is Quakers in Scotland. I saw Pam from Pam and Steph um, just keep stitching, stitch this. And I fell in love with it. And Stephen and I have been married 30 years in September. And we're going to Scotland. So I thought I'm going to do that for our anniversary. And I let my husband pick out the fabric. And I'm using all the called for DMC. And I think when we last saw this one come out, these two were done. And so that's all the work I did. I thought about trying to get this whole top done before we got to Scotland. So I just have to focus on the bottom half Why I work. Because this is the only stitch I'm going to take with us when we go to Scotland. I'm pretty sure I will not get it done while we're over there. But I want to get a good... That's kind of a neat idea, though, that you worked on it then. Yeah. So I want to have, but I want to have a good portion of it done. But then, and I don't want to take a lot of extra things in my, my luggage and stuff. So I'm just going to take a minimum, a mere minimum. So I thought this would be a good one to take. Okay, guys. Ooh. Women of Honor by Rebel Stitcher. Yeah, I didn't really work on that one. Yep, that's what I brought up in. I've got that in my September lineup. On a hoop. On a hoop. My like floss is in front. And I'm really struggling since I moved the hoop. And I got this one done and these two done. Can I see it? Yep. Yep. No. It's like this. Oh, do you start in the bottom? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is the bottom. Because I, I always start in the bottom. Oh, okay. Right here. And move this way. Okay. Unlike our Halloween Quaker where I started up here and moved this way, that didn't work out very well. So now, now I try to start here and move this way. Okay. This was our birthday sal start along with, for like two years ago. Well, we'll get it done. Our first year we did, we each did a little pattern and it took us like a year to get those done in, in our own true fashion. So the next year we did one and one. We just did one and we're still working on her. She's beautiful. I love her. She is. And you right. can customize it. You have one more? Nope, I'm done. Oh, yeah, me too. All right, plans. plans. Plans are just to continue with what you saw. That's the plans. That's like my big plans. So my two that I'm working on for April are Don't, don't Feed the Plants and My Raven Queen. And so my Raven Queen will probably get started maybe on Sunday. Did you get a scroll frame? No. So this is this is how I think. This is ridiculous. I didn't order the, I didn't, I didn't put the frame in my cart, though it is in my cart now. I just have to pull the trigger and I'll do that. But in my mind, I was like, um, that's expensive. It's like $76. Is it expensive? Yes. Do I have the money? Yes. But I was trying to like be mindful of what I spend on my cross stitch this year. And I just spent a whole lot and you'll see in the haul, I bought my initial market and then I bought a bunch of extra from market. 
And so I was like, oh, I'm going to wait. And then pretty soon, so I told, I tell my husband this, he's like, Will hmm. you put him over there, please? Yeah. Is he getting hot? No, he's getting hot. And then he's like digging his leg into me and his dad's home so he can go. His dad's got the door shut. He'll figure it out. Um, so I was like, I told my husband, like, I want to order this $76 frame, but you know, I, I've been spending quite a bit more than I normally have planned on spending in cross stitch. And, and he looked at me and he's like, really? I see all those charges. He goes, just buy the stupid thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I'll do that. So I just have to do it. I said, hit send. But that'll be, if it's not, if I, I want to start it next week because um, depending on what I take to the library retreat, um, I won't have, we'll be gone over a weekend. So that'll be the weekend I would have started it. So I don't, I've got to figure it out. I got to make time to figure it out. But those, so those are my plans to stitch on those two things. My, my work stitch will be um, Sari's um, stitch. And then I'm not going to lie. I'm really having a hard time not jumping on all the stitch alongs or start alongs in my case. So Stephanie had a birthday and her stitch was Annie's strength and dignity, Annie, the proper stitcher. And we shared that pattern last week. It's a giveaway. It was somebody's receiving it from us this week. And I'm like, I really want to start that. I do. I am like sitting on my hands wanting to start it. And then there's another one that our friend Holly from Hobbies of Holly, she has this one and it says, but God, because we don't know. We don't know what the future is. We don't know, et cetera. And we have to, if for those of you that are faith believers, you know, we believe like, you know, there's a plan. You have to like put energy in that plan. It doesn't, it's not going to just fall on your lap, but there's a plan, right? And so we don't control that. We don't control when we come to the earth. We don't control when we leave the earth. Like none of that is, so that's, so that had meaning. And so I'm like, I'm, and so I, Anyways, we'll talk about that. But that's another start along, stitch along. I that, would like to do that too. But... That we're jumping on. And so, but I've committed to this 24 and 24. And I like the idea because I've got some big projects in that 24 and 24. So I'm struggling a little bit on what my plans are. He oh, came back. He came back. <laughs> he found his, the blind dog found his way back to his mom's lap. He doesn't have enough room to jump. So. All right. He's back. <laughs> I, thought, I thought maybe you could go out to his dad. But. I told you, you can't get out the door. You're... So, that's all I had for plans. That's okay. what I'm doing. Happy mail. I got two of my sows. The first one I got, when I got home, where did I stick it? Oh, this is not the first one. This is, a, this is my recent one. So, Stacy was stitching with Stacy, thread thy needle, um, thread thy needle com holds a quarterly, is it quarterly? It's quarterly, quarterly stitch along. I don't always do them, so. Yeah, you can sign up. She's got a Facebook group. You have to answer a few questions. She'll let you in. Um, and then you can sign up when she announces her next sale. But I have this amazing, I'll put the picture of the Easter basket at the end because we're recording on my phone. But this was my stitch. I showed mine last time. Now, keep in mind, I stitched this and I sent it off in a stitch along that Sandy hosted. And I was going to stitch it again. But this lady named Ashley sent me this amazing basket. In the basket, it was an Easter basket. It came in this huge box. Um, she sent the pattern, a pattern that I'm very excited to think about. I'm thinking about putting it in my lineup. She sent the fabric and she was so funny. She had two Easter eggs, but one rolled under the table. She didn't know it while she was building the box. So I have most of the floss. <laughs> she sent me a note. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. I got it. And she sent me a bunch of stickers, but the two stickers that meant the most to me were these two. Where did she get a Devil's Tower one out? Well, I don't know, but she got a Wyoming and an Alabama. And she was from Alabama. I'm from Wyoming. So I'm not sure how I want to display those two, but I want to keep them together. And um, anyways, it made me happy. The, ba the basket made me happy. My other Sal, Sandy from Stitching with Sandy, it was the one you had to do the bunny on. Sandy had me. And if you read, if you pop over to Sandy's video that she released yesterday. She'll tell you, you know, 
She did tell me mine was going to be late. I didn't know who was stitching for me. I didn't know why. But, you know, you communicate with Sandy and then she communicates with the person that, you know, you're stitching for. And when I got home last week, the last time we filmed, <gasps> mine, Easter basket. So I got two adult Easter, two stitching Easter baskets. They were the best. But this is my first prairie schooler. Now, I've received my my Christmas stitch along exchange, or my Christmas exchange, excuse me. Um, I got a bunch of prairie schoolers that I'm going to stitch, but Cute. this is my first completed prairie schooler, so he is adorable. And I had him sitting out, and I will put a picture of that at the end where he sat at my house all, all, um, all Easter season. So I was excited about that. And then I got two cards. I think we got two cards, too. I got a card yes i got an easter card thank ruth. you i made my day we, we've talked about ruth before she's the one that sent me the pumpkin pattern um the philosophic pumpkin um we met her at stitchcon 2022 we met her since so she's at our table but we're so thankful for that ruth cracks me up ruth is jewish and she sent me an easter card <laughs> not, not upstairs a... <laughs> on my bureau actually <laughs> it just it just warmed my heart and the other one is i got a um I got a card from our friend Brenda, who yes. we met at um, uh, Beach, Please. Beach Please, and it just warmed my heart. Brenda and I had a military connection, and it was just, a, it was amazing. It was an amazing, uh, it was amazing meeting her, which is why I'm so excited to go to the library retreat, because we have so many ladies that we've actually met in person, and we're going to see them again, and we're going to continue to, to, you know, foster that friendship. The rest of this, my friends, is haul. I have a small haul. I have like, I feel like a hoarder, but a lot of this came in because it didn't come in last time. So it had been in the mail and then it didn't come in. So you want me to... So why don't you do your... My haul? Yeah. Because then I'm going to need a nap. So some yeah, of these... she's going to sleep today. We're taking a nap all night. <laughs> I know, right? Look at me. Um, you've seen this advertised. Um, there's actually a few... Are you leaving it here so I can go through it? Yeah, that's fine. This is my favorite one. He's cute. He's a fat bunny. Who does not need to stitch this guy in their life? Me. I do. So if you know anything about bunnies, for fair, I bought Emma a Flemish giant, not knowing it was truly a Flemish giant. <laughs> so this little third grader was going for 4-H to go in this like 45 pound bunny. So fat bunnies have a place in my heart. This is His the name other... was Hank the Tank. This is the other one that I love. That's cute too. Who doesn't need to be dumb? I mean, I'm an Air Force officer, right? Let's let's just flying bunnies, missile some carrots. carrots. Yeah, so yeah, I'm happy to leave that here for you. Thank you. The other one is um, for some light reading. Yeah, light reading. But don't put it there because that's a book. I got my quilt makers magazine. I love like all the quilts in here. I think I'm gonna make at least one of everything. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, isn't that fabulous? I'm in love with this one. It's actually not a pattern in here, in this book, but it's a pattern, and I'm going to find it, because who doesn't need a red, white, and blue flag in their life? I there it's, It talks about how to stitch with bold prints. This one also spoke with me, but it's got curves, so I don't know how fast I'll jump on that one. Curves are not hard. They're not. They just have to be patient. A lot of pinning with curves. A lot closer, Jenny. There we go. Anyways, there's a lot of fun, fun things to do in this one. And I, I got this yesterday and I've been, I brought it so I could like read it during my sleep study. So I have a little book to read. Then I want everyone to be proud of me. This is my last 28 count Lugana that I picked up from the Stitch Me. It's the fabric of the month. I jumped to 36. Moving on up. I mean, they're nice. I will probably find something to do with it, but. I don't know. It's dry here. Then, here we go. My cottage garden threads oh, from you dropped, oops, I dropped the sticker. From Rebel Stitcher came. Oh, with a pink flower. I watched her um, floss tube today. I have not watched and it. And she yet. showed it to I just figured I'd be watching it tonight. And so I'm gonna build this out. But again. Pretty colors, pretty variegation. Um, I think, the, not that it's a problem, but why Cottage Garden is going to take off, I think. They're an Australian company. I don't think a lot of American designers chart with them. 
but I think they should because they are a dream to stitch with. But if you want to get a quarterly, I think it's, she does it quarterly or maybe it's every other month. Um, Rebel Stitcher does a, a club and it's, you get four and they're, and she has openings. She does have some openings. Oh, I'm glad you bought this. Me too. I'm not the cook in my family. We've talked about this on the baker, not the cooker. Well, Steve's the chef. Um, but the patterns in here and the designers the stories and the, I don't know. Anyways, I, I, um, I absolutely have got a lot of things that I want to do out of this book. It looks good. I also, from Rebel Stitcher, <gasps> Cranberry Coffee Cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy. He's cute. I'm going to stitch Well, him. it's just a treat for COVID, of course. Oh, is it? What's this? This is our um, Needle Minder Club. Once again, haven't got mine. Well, I just got it, I think, yesterday. So it might be in your mailbox. Did you check your mail? I checked my mail. Anyways, it cracks me up. So she said this. I'm not for everybody. <gasps> Look at him. I have to show you this. It's a little squirrel. A little dressed up squirrel. Very cute. Sorry. So I got a pin, a cactus pin, and then cactus -y stickers. Nice. So it was a good, this one was a fun meal minder. And you know, we're always not for everybody, but everybody has somebody. So. No, I was looking at that. We're floss tubing right now. It's called multitasking. Give it we don't do a very good job. <laughs> then I got my one, two, three. Remember last time I said I didn't push the button on the one, two, three stitch? Well, I did. Because in May, on Mother's Day, I'm going to start this pattern. Old. This is my Roxy from Evertote, my Roxy floss and um, fabric. But it's by page. You're not going to stitch a green, are you? No. The greens, the, the, I'm, no, I'm just going to stitch everything else. Okay. So I don't quite know how I'm going to tackle this, but we'll worry about that. One page at a time. Jenny. One page at a time. That's right. And in this bag, so our friend Emily Call was the, des the designer, the guest designer at Beach Please. When her box was shipped home to her, the post office lost it. And so everybody in our little group, in a little chat group, jumped on and said, look, don't worry about any of them. We're all going to stitch them for you. And she was extremely thankful. So I was, we all were stitching patterns that she had, that we, that we owned of hers already that we just hadn't started. There was a bunch of us. And I said, I've got kindness begins with me. I want to stitch that one really bad. I'm going to do it. And so I ordered, I didn't order the, I had the floss. I needed the fabric. So I ordered the called for floss or I had the floss. I ordered the called for fabric in my one, two, three stitch order. And so when I got that pattern, I also got the floss for that. That's pretty. And she stitched it like this. I have to look at her model, but. It has a little bit of modeling in it. It has a little bit of modeling in it, not too much. It's just, just enough waves. And the Raven Queen, God love her. All the stuff for her. The beads too? Yeah, I got the beads from, um, from when we went to Crazy Woman. Ah. All of it. It's right here. I just got to go home and put it in the kit. And jump in. <laughs> the jumping in part. Let's be my first Mirabilia. I should just wait and start it in May because I guess there's the Mirabilia May. Mira May. Does that make sense? Or is it Mira March Mira? I don't know. I could be making some stuff up. It'll be my first one. Just go with it. All right. Then, because my our friend... Teresa from Garden Goose Stitcher and Holly from Holly's a Hobby is stitching this pattern. I ordered one for Nancy and one for me. And there I got the go. floss for it. What, what I, I don't know. It doesn't matter where I got the floss from. But we are going to spice it up. We're going to spice it up. It's kind of, I want the, I want the yellow to be like, so when you see this picture, because it's a picture, if you take the pattern out, it's a little, it's literally a picture. It looks yellow, yellow, but if you have the colors, Thank you, Jenny. you're welcome. Hang on. I think they're right over here. I won't be gone. Long friends of Floss Tube. 
What did I do? Drop everything? No, you just moved it. I made her was going to take you on. She oh. just went and bought them. I just bought them. Where did I put them? They were in my hands. They're well, just kind of muted colors. They're just really muted. Did so you gonna... put it in here? Oh, I might have. Yep, I sure did. See, I didn't have to go anywhere. I was trying to be effective. Efficient. And sometimes, though, if, even if we did these colors, they might pop. It depends on your fabric, right, that you pick. Right. But, um... For sure. Can I see them? Yeah. So, here's the thing, though. Like, this is the red of the building. It, it, I don't know. I don't love it. The these yellow. are... Did I drop it? No. These are your yellow. These are your sunflowers. They don't look very yellow to me. I want mine to be yellow. So... We're gonna divide these up like that, and then we're gonna not use them. <laughs> but you have to start somewhere. I was here, mom and I went to Hobby Lobby today. I had to work. And then, because I'm, uh, I'm into, um, oh, I got some needles. I'm watching my friend Jane and Julie running with scissors. And Jane does this to me. I bought this book. And I'm going to stitch this. And I went, oh, where did I not? Why did I not buy that? So I went to the Colorado Cross Stitcher. There I was Saturday morning. Yeah, I gotcha. And I bought the Teresa Kogan. And so we're going to do Hello Spring. She's going to have to be a mixture project. But this book is amazing. I love this book. Super excited. And because no pattern can, stitch, can travel alone, I bought this one for my sister. You did? Yeah. Thank you, you so buy much. I didn't. I didn't buy anything at market. Oh, so pretty. I did. So pretty. Thank you. And if I really wanted to stitch those towns, I'll just come get her patterns. And. That's cute, too. This one I've been dying to stitch. I don't know a whole lot of autumn. But this is by Liz Matthew. Hello from Liz Matthews. Hello. Hello from Liz Matthews. From Liz. And I love it. She also has a Halloween one. But I need some autumn in my life. So um, I will not be done this year. But what I really like about when Sherry. Do not bend. And you know what? My postman is awesome. He brings it to my front porch and just sets it down next to my door. Every time. Instead of shoving it in my mailbox. So I appreciate that. Mine does. And mine comes your way like. My mailbox is small. It's really yours. So are you done? I'm done. All right. So here haul. is our, my haul. And it's actually Jenny's haul. This is for Jenny. Oh, it's and got it's shrooms. Q snap <gasps> from Stephanie from the New England Stitcher. Oh, thank you. I needed a bag for my, my Barbara Anna mushroom girl. Yeah. She was really worried. She like, is, does Jenny like that? I think so. And you better open it up because there's a different one in there too. A different Shroom material. I got my bare one, and this will fit your Q snap. That's what we've been talking about. Oh, is that why you yeah. asked me? Yeah, that's why oh. it's so big. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. And I love these little things. Will you yeah. show those too? And you've got your ring for your floss drops. Mm -hmm. I love this. Thank you. Yes. And she gave us these. I want to show these as well. Safe to say you'll be seeing these. We're going to order some from her. Please read what it says. Hang on. Well, I don't think they can see it. Dang it. They will. She designed these and just sent them to us without. Can I see it? Straighten someone's crown. Use yes. your stitchers. That's our thing. Like, you got to do it. So thank you. I think I'm going to make these in thank the you, thank you. And then we should place an order. That's what they're supposed to do. I know, but I got to make them for, for library. Yeah. Oh, well, that's an option too, but. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But thank you, Stephanie. Thank, thank you. you so much. Oh, I, I love it. I can't wait. And that's all my haul. Who's our BFF? 
Who is our BFF, Jenny? Evertote? Well, we could do Evertote. We could get their names right. I thought we were going to get their names right. Do you remember their names? No. <laughs> Pop quiz! They're in Canada. They stitch, they host stitch north. Yep. Carrie is the dyer. Yes, and Roxy is the, the floss that we used, the bird. The bird that passed away. Yes. Carolyn. Yeah, and then um, there's that designer from Canada. Um, where I knew I was going to mess this up. Who designed the crow with the houses, remember? Yes, and I'm so stitching that one. The, the maximum. It's an Maximum awesome. cross-stitch hour. Yeah. That's what that one is. I'm pretty sure. So we have, we have, we don't have a right. The other the one. Maximum cross-stitch hour, I'm pretty sure that's what her name is. Anyways, we've been, they were, they're new to us. So they're new to us. We've been silently like on the outside kind of watching and we've been kind of catching up on videos. We're getting names right. The one I watched this morning that I just was cracking up and I was Welcome Stitchery with Justine and Sherry. Mm hmm Oh my gosh. I don't know where I've been. I mean, I knew about Welcome Stitchery and I've been kind of watching her on FosTube or Facebook as she pops up with her lives, but I don't know where I've been with her FosTube because I haven't been watching that one. And I was, I like had to rewind because I was like, I didn't see that part. I didn't see that part. I didn't see that part. Anyways, I've been having a good time catching up. And then I've been also, don't pick at your dog. Well, okay. So his little paws are all raw. Um, well, are we done? We didn't really talk about our BFF we too did. much. We did. Okay. We want you to go. We want you to. The shops often. Well, I guess where I was going with this is, shops often have floss tubes where they talk about new things in their shops, and it's it's fun to see what they're stitching, what they're working on, why they're working on it. New designers, designers who co 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 say the word collaborate. Thank you. Um, so I was hoping that's how she was going. <laughs> it was, you know, and, and they share the, it, they're because they're the industry and they're who we want to stitch with and, and who we want to buy from. I watch Sherry, the color of cross stitcher. I watch a lot of shops who have floss tubes. So, um, I like it, I guess is what I'm saying. And I happen to like Evertoe too. So I like their, I like their concept about reimagining patterns with colors. Yes. And then I've been watching Angie from the Hoopy Hobby. She kind of reformatted hers. If you guys yeah. haven't seen her. She's had a good reformat. I'm glad that I have her phone number because I'm like, and I want to know about this, and I want to know about this, and, and, and. She just got back from Texas. Uh, yes. And, yes. I do that with um, Annie and Shelly mm -hmm. from Antique Needleworkers, Annie the Proper Stitcher. Um, and then there's a group of us that are in, in a, and so when someone's floss tube pops up, I'll comment on it and be like, hey, I need to understand this, or my new favorite saying is flaky with intent. <laughs> That's what Teresa Garden Goose says. She's like, I'm flaky, but with intention. <laughs> so I love it. Um, all right. So we've got three shares and three new shares. So let's do the three shares. Do you, they're on do your I phone. Can, yeah, they're on your phone. Okay. Because I, they're on my phone and it's hard to, um, the first one is Strength and Dignity. This is a sal with Stephanie, the New England Stitcher. If you want to get it started, I will get this in the mail as soon as you give me your address. And this goes to Lofty Makes. I just sent them to you. Oh, I'm on, I'm on the wrong person. Nope, they're, they're in reverse order, sorry. Can they see it? Yep. Lofty Makes, if you will do me a favor and in the down below bougie stitchers at gmail.com if you will send me your address please you your, your photo makes me believe you are at least over the age of 21 um send me a uh your your information i will get that out to you oh i was just reading her comments sorry to hear that yep we had a lot of great prayer things that just made me want to yeah. focus on in our comments last time about who you'd stitch it for why it was important to you your own journeys like sometimes we need to stitch things for ourselves. So there was a lot of a lot of reflecting when I was reading comments. All right, the next one is the is lucky. Okay. And that goes to you wanna show it? Yes, please. No, show that the Yes, I will. Lucky. Again, these are all the new patterns from Annie. And that goes to Lori Vol I don't know. Please read your name. 
With my bifocals, I can't read this, so you all have to tell me if it. Lori, yeah, Lori Bretto, ninety six seventy six. And the last one is spring. The promise of spring. I love these birds on this one because they're blue, I think. And this one goes to Lorraine. I think it's zero six. Not maybe it's O sixteen O X. Here, all right. So congratulations. Congratulations. Let us know. Send us a thing down below. Those are our shares. Gmail. Now. I think it's Mirabilia May. I want to say it's Mirabilia May. I was watching. I think I was. Well, who was I watching? Were you watching um, Sarah Memphis? -y? I was watching Sarah Memphis. -y. She loves. She loves. Uh, she's got Mirabilia's. Um, the other one who does a lot of Mirabilia's too is um, Janet Jabber. Oh, yeah. Um, and I always say it wrong. Kits, Kitsy Whips. She cracks me up. I cannot watch her. I cannot drink and watch her floss too because I'm laughing so hard. Anyways, we thought we'd do we, a very kind. Oh, she's the one that did the the, the one in North, South Carol North Carolina. North Carolina. The, yeah. the queen. Is it the queen? The queen sisters? The big ladies. I'm starting my big lady. So we thought we had a very kind viewer donate some mirabilities to us. We have a, just a few left. And so we thought we would get these out in the mail. These are all kind of springy ones for us. But the first one is Rose. Nope, that's not Rose. That's not Rose. I had them in the right order, and I just put them in the reverse order. So this is Rose. This is the Rose of Sharon. She's beautiful. So at the keyword there is Rose. Very original. The next one, I just thought it was appropriate for spring because it's gathering eggs. Her little pantalones and her eggs make me just smile. And then the last one is uh, June's Pearl Fairy. And these are all still sealed. They're still sealed. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank you. I broke the seal on my Raven Queen. But And, and they're the old style with the photos. With the photos for um, the pictures. Sorry. Sorry. Made her snoring. See? Is that not amazing? Could you imagine th this being in in Hobby Lobby right now? <laughs> and these pictures would be a nightmare for the poor clerk. But I love it. I can do that later, sorry. Yeah, because you can't multitask. I cannot very well. I was really focused on getting these pictures in. All right, so have you been quilting? I've been quilting a lot. I have a quilt done. And then I have a, another quilt cut out. And then one of my friends from here is, is making me a quilt. And I have most, well, I have 167 of those cut out. So they're two and a half inch by one and a half inch circles that she's hand stitching for me. Our friend is a beautiful quilter. Yeah. By hand. We're all like, get your machine out. And she's like, no. So this is McKenna's car quilt that I finished the other day. It's also our challenge. And this is just a block I, I finished for a queen size quilt that I need to get done. I may. Yeah. We've, I've already said it's probably not going to be done, but. And then, what you looking for? This oh, my sister did. I got a tattoo. She got ink done. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I don't think it's going to turn into Shamu or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the flock could get a little bigger, I guess. And well, you know, when we thought when we were it's young, Matthew eighteen thirteen. Yes, it's it's the shepherd and his flock. My what cracks me up though is when Steve goes like, he's like, why are you getting a fish hook on here? And I almost I was talking to the artist and uh, I wanted her to put a hook on there, but I think it's perfect the way you did it. Right. But what cracked me up is my husband thought it was a fish hook, and then he's like, but when we talk about when you talk about putting ink on your body, you know, you we always talked about where are you going to put things. Right? Like, where are you going to put them? And so... Um, I learned the hard way. My my philosophy is you should always put it where it's not going to grow, fold, wrinkle, or fade. The fading's the hard part. But, you know, I'm one of those people that go in the dark and I don't spend a lot of time in the sun, like, without a lot of stuff on, 
you know, covered head to toe. But um, so my one tattoo right here, my son got the same tattoo and his is faded because he's always in the pool. He's a swimmer and I wash dishes, but I'm not in the pool like he was. So mine didn't fade. Nancy's first tattoo is a goldfish. But when she was pregnant, it became a Shamu. <laughs> and pretty soon it's going to be a dead Shamu floating upside down, you know, because it's down here in, in the pooch area. <laughs> so not the brightest. My thing. other one's on my arm, so you don't really. Um, but it's a conversation piece. <laughs> it's a conversation piece. We always joke about it. So that's all we have. We've got a busy two weeks. We will, the next time we come at you, we will probably be in Maine and we'll record probably in Maine. And then I'll put it up when we get back because we'll get back on a Monday. So we'll probably have lots of adventures. Not a lot of stitching, but maybe some stories to share. Because um, we never get a lot of stitching done at retreats. I'm so excited. I'm bringing two whips. I say that now. There's one to stitch on the plane and one to stitch on at the retreat. Because I'm going to do a lot of talking. I'm going to do a lot of hugging. And I'm going to do a lot of, you know, with friends. And I'm not going to worry about stitching. Usually I'm like, I've got all this projects i got to get done. And I'm not going to worry about it this time. I've given myself... No, we're going to just meet friends and have a great time. Nice. That's what my philosophy is. I'm assuming that's yours because that's what yours usually is. <laughs> I have good intentions. Yeah, we have great intentions. <laughs> and last time we all decided we were going to stitch something anyways. And there's so many amazing trunk shows at this retreat that I'm like, mm, I'm not going to worry about it. So, all right. We don't have anything. We didn't talk about anything that we wanted them to talk about. No. Summer plans. Anybody got crazy summer plans? Now that I'm an empty nester, I don't have to worry about school schedules. I don't know. I don't have any crazy plans. I have plans. to work. Mm, I do, but my boss is pretty cool. So, all right. Well, until we see you next time, straighten somebody's crown. We ask that of you every time. You never know when you just need to reach back and bring someone up to the line with you or just share a kind word. Send that text. You never know. And if you're called to do it, then that person must need it. So, and when we say this, be humble. You don't have to tell somebody you're doing it. Just do it. That's what makes it amazing. I wish I had le learned that at an earlier age. We might have learned it. We just didn't listen. I'm sure our mother smacked it into us, but I'm 100% sure I didn't quite understand the meaning of it. That, that could be, yeah. <laughs> so, that's why we want to share it with you now. So. All right. On that note, we hope your spring is warm. I'm praying the snowstorm that hits us this weekend is a flop. <laughs> well, it could be. We didn't have snow all winter. And now it's like, let's snow every other day. Oh, but it's 70 degrees today, so we'll see. It was hot today. It, it was feels a hot, hot 70. You know, you, you you wake up, it's 27 degrees. By the end of the day, it's 70. That's a, that's a big temperature differential. Yeah. So. All right, I'm going to go study for my sleep test. I hope you pass this time, Jenny. <laughs> Who fails the sleep test? Me. All right. All right. Toodles. Bye. Nice. All right, until next time. Until next time, happy stitching.